Alrighty, uh, welcome back. Hope you picked the right tape, or this whole thing is fucked. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just kidding. There's no correct order. Uh, funny enough, I actually can't set the order for you. The virus would redevelop into active parts of your brain if you knew what to expect. It's, uh, well, it's tricky, like that. Or, uh, maybe I did set the order and now I'm just tricking the virus into specific areas to more easily lobotomize. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, uh, let's continue. See that door? to my uh, menagerie of terror. But I know, I know, not exactly ideal laboratory settings. I had to work with what was around, which given current circumstances, it, well, it was a lot of, <sighs> I, you'll see. Uh, but hey, don't knock it. This stuff is gonna save your life. In these rooms are 11 different contraptions. Each contraption holds another key. Solve a puzzle, get the key, watch another tape, rinse and repeat until cured. You can tackle the puzzles in any order. Uh, like I said, uh, I, I just can't actually give you an order. Ruining the surprise virus spreading in your brain, yada, yada, yada.
really all at once. It just turned on. There was no build or warning. What moment it was a typical frigid desert night. And then it wasn't. It was so bright that I nearly ran off the road. But not like the daytime kind. It was like a trillion neon signs packed too close together, all being lit up at once. What purpose have you awoken me and brought about the end of reality?
wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life. Eh? What? Don't say it again, creep. And how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? Send me back. I'll do it next time. Maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. Exactly. Where'd you get that book? It's not a Necronomicon. What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? It's a survival guide for dating me. Mm-hmm. It's full of rituals that I like, offerings, spells, and how to protect your sanity while performing them. I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension, so no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while, if you understand what I'm getting at. If you can make it to the end, darling. But if you chicken out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. Now, you knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? Excellent! Let's begin the date, then. Why don't you start with the Invoke the Depths ritual? us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. The closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Just focus on following the book perfectly. a human before. Now you're totally my type.
smiling. What are you looking at? Nothing, huh? You were looking at nothing? Is that the truth? Hmm. <laughs> Did I scare you, darling? Good. I know what page you were on. And if I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing, you won't get past the second word. All it needs is a little something, and it'll be perfect. Hmm. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. See you in a few, love. pale as a sheet. I can tell by the look on your face. You've caught a glimpse of the real world now that I'm waking up. Guess you aren't as sane as you thought, huh, darling? Oh, sweetie, don't worry about reality. It doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. If you like, I can move you to the front of the line and end you painlessly. As thanks for waking me up. You wouldn't hear their screams anymore. Or maybe you'd prefer to be saved for last. Have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Though the things you'd see if you lingered... 
being destroyed first or last? Which would you prefer, my darling? to perform pledging yourself to me take heart your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all of time the final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your very mouth and echo into oblivion the privilege is yours alone I may be inexperienced with human emotions but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Take all the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Could you hit the lights for me, darling? Thank you, my love. I still have control here, right? If you want to smooch my real form, you have no choice but to do the spells over. Wait, what? Delicious. 
<laughs> I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date to end. That look on your face. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you. And that's because of you. So why destroy me and all of reality? Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Oh, my sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. I love humans, and I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. Look her up, my darling. You've earned it. <laughs>